Systems and CashMap.com. Welcome to our first video of Introduction to Systems. We're going to take a sneak peek at systems today, and specifically on why systems, and why systems are important to your business, your life, and any other mission you start out to achieve. But we're going to explore this question, why systems, from two perspectives. The first perspective involves your business systems. These are systems that lie at the core of your daily activities, and without them, your business would cease to function. Examples of such business systems include your sales system, your marketing system, financial management system, product development, lead generation, lead selection, lead conversion, customer support, and your overall management system. Now, not all these systems will be present in all businesses. Some businesses will have more, others less. But from our experience in consulting with individual entrepreneurs, small business owners, and our corporate clients, those systems I just mentioned are present in over 90% of our client base. So anyways, why systems? From this business system perspective, there really are three key whys to systems. Number one, systemization. The act of systematizing or the act of building systems to support your activities and objects. Without a systemic foundation, your business is highly likely to fail. In fact, I would suggest that without systems, you do not even have a business at all. With systems, and especially documented ones, your business and your mission has a defined roadmap of activities. And with systemization, systems run your business, not people. This allows you to run a streamlined, profitable business using inter interchangeable parts. Why number two? Elimination. You can eliminate waste from your business that may be keeping you from reaching your goals. For instance, you can identify and eliminate constraints. The constraints are bottlenecks in your uh, processes that are stunning your productivity. You can eliminate wasted time and time activities and eliminate wasted monies that are spent. The third why, replication. Replication is the act of duplicating or reproducing something. Systems enable replication and as you begin to build a business, you try to produce its intended results and the systems that you put in place will enable you to produce those results again and again. Could you imagine if you let your employees work on whatever tasks they felt like working on whenever they wanted to? One time they produce the results that you expect and the next time they don't. How do you know what happened? What produced those intended results? What produced the results you didn't want? And if you understand and use systems, you'll know with absolute certainty so that you can replicate those intended results over and over again. So these are the three whys of perspective number one in your business systems. Now we're going to take a peek at perspective two, your revenue system. But before doing so, I was able to catch up this past weekend with a friend of mine at JV Alert Live. He's one of the brightest entrepreneurial business minds online today. Take a peek. Hi, this is Brad Semp with CashMap Systems, CashMap.com. I'm here to, this evening at Ken MacArthur's JV Alert Live event. Um, with a uh, just a wonderful and uh, tremendous business mind here, uh, Mr. Glenn Dito with uh, Awaken the Author Within and uh, author of uh, Author and Grow Rich, a book that you're definitely going to want to uh, to check out. Um, but Glenn has you know, proven to me I've been following his work and uh, one of the front runners as far as uh, systems thinkers and implementing systems, proprietary business systems to uh, move you ahead and move you forward. So, Glenn, I really wanted to ask you uh, tonight, just you know, listen to you speak and, and uh, watching your activities. You know, why, why are systems important uh, to you and your business? Well, I mean, Brad, that's a, that's a really loaded question. I mean, we could literally look at that in so many different venues. I think bottom line why systems are so important is, first of all, Every entrepreneur struggles with creating systems. You know, by nature, entrepreneurs are creative, and they're easily distracted by the shiny, uh, bright object syndrome. And so, having systems in place, just from a standpoint of first of all, making sure that you've got your day organized properly, but yet there's still enough structure in there to allow for the unexpected. Um, having systems to ensure that you analyze the world properly. I mean, that's really critical. I always tell people that when you go to, a, when you go to an event, 
for example, or when you read a book. You never want to read a book the way most people read a book. You always want to read a book from how you see the world. But how you see the world needs to be defined. Even if it's don't understand fully that system of how you see the world, there's got to be some schemata that needs to be written down, even flow charted out just a little bit, so that when you're analyzing something, you're truly analyzing it more critically because you're now you've got a scope, you've got a frame of reference from which to work that's a fluid frame of reference, if you will. So it's always open to being massaged and changed but it, it'll allow you to begin to become a lot more perceptive and a lot more analytical. And as an entrepreneur, that's critical. If you can develop your analytical skills, if you can develop your perceptive skills, uh, especially as you build that in from an emotional level and a cognitive level and bridge those two, um, you're going to build the company very quickly because you're going to be in touch with people where they need to be in touch with. And that is ultimately at an emotional level but people, but more, more importantly, that emotion is critical to build that connection, but also helping people to see the world from your experiences and that's what people really want. Right? So you've got to be able to build in, to teach them how to see the world around them. That's right. And you hit on something that's real important, it's documenting those systems. So many people try to put those systems in their head, or if you ask them, well, you know, how do you conduct your business? And they say, oh, well, it's in my head. Right. You know. It's really important to get that out on paper so that you're doing the writing. What do you always say? The uh, writing is the uh, doing, doing part, part of thinking. thinking. Yeah, so. Welcome back. As Glenn pointed out, documented systems are the key to seeing the world around you and to be able to analyze and understand your business. This applies directly to our system perspective number two, your revenue system. Listen closely because what I'm about to share with you is important. The concept of a revenue system is key to unlocking yourself as an expert within your marketplace, to enabling virtually unlimited profits by removing yourself and your business from price competition, and by creating an instant competitive advantage over your competitors. This concept is so important, but most entrepreneurs and business owners overlook it because it's so subtle. You see, your business systems that we spoke about earlier are a summary of the tasks or activities that your business completes on a regular schedule. You're not selling your business systems, however. They're important and necessary to assure that your business operates on a daily basis. Contrast that with what I call your revenue system. Your revenue system can be described as a system that is being sold. It's a system that produces revenue for you and your company. It may be a product, it may be a service. Now there are two kinds of revenue systems, tangible and conceptual. A product is easy for most people to understand because it's tangible. You can see it, touch it, feel it. But here's where the real profits exist. They exist in a conceptual revenue system. You see, with a conceptual revenue system, you define it. And because you defined it, you are the expert. And because you defined it, the system is proprietary to you. And because it's proprietary, it provides an instant competitive advantage over your competitors that allows you to price it however you'd like. Are you struggling, struggling with this concept? If you follow our work, CashMap Systems, and visit us at CashMap.com, you'll see much more of this concept over the next few months. But a conceptual revenue system is, is exactly what you see when top marketers produce million dollar launches. Think about it. They aren't just producing a product, a shiny red widget, or a piece of software. They're producing and selling a uniquely positioned competition dominating system that is clearly a conceptual revenue system in its truest form. I'd like to thank you today for your time. I'd like to say a special thank you to my friend Glenn Dietzel. And I'd like to remind you that no matter where you are with your business or in your life in general, and no matter where you would like to go from here, there exists a system to take you from where you are now to where you want to be. It's my personal goal and the goal of our Cash Map team to help you find and realize that system. I'm Brad Sump with CashMap Systems. Be sure to take a moment now and visit us at CashMap.com. Thank you for your time.